Okay, welcome to this new video. I'm gonna be going through how to create an account on our website, how to create a t-shirt with your own logo or design, and then how to obviously place it and kind of choose your right product. So yeah, I'm gonna grab Arnie Palmer, which is not a Red Bull, out of a Red Bull fridge. I do have Red Bull in there though, for the record, just in case anyone was ready to get on my case. Like I said, caffeine. I'm gonna go over to our website, badgerprints.com. I'm gonna hit sign in, but I'm actually not because I already have an account. I'm gonna create an account, so tricked ya. You know, there might be come with some of these little loops in there, so keep your eye out. Um, I'm gonna create an account with my outreach at badgerprints.com email. My name is gonna be Taylor. My last name is Jardine. Don't look me up. And then my password is gonna be cool. One O with a K because it's cool. You sign up for our newsletter if you want right here. You can also opt out, it's up to you. Are you a robot? I don't know, I hate those things, but whatever. They're better than the ones where you have to like choose your, choose a stop sign in like seven pictures, so that's cool. Okay, we have an account. Uh, okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go choose an item. There's a few ways to get there to the design tool and to the items. You have catalogs that you can click on here to go browse. We have the design tool here, which will take you directly to our designer, ready to go, and then you can choose a product. What I like to do personally is click on buy online and go look at some of these products on here. And for this case, for all intensive purposes, I've heard that said before, I don't know what that means, so for all purposes needed, I better do a t-shirt. Oh, I saw one that I love. I love this shirt, it's super soft. There's also this 3301, which is a suede tee. Both of them are super nice shirts. Oh, I think today I'm going with suede. I got persuaded. <laughs> Get it? On this side, so now we got the, the product up here. It shows the back and the sleeves and kind of describes a little bit about what the shirt is. I'm just so happy about it that I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna choose to do a solid black blend because I my only style is black. Um, this one, you can have two options. You can either upload your own art right now and just send it through and we'll send you a mock-up with an approval and then you're just done from there. Or you can go to design online, which I'm gonna click here and it gives you a print area of where we can put the image on your product. If you'd like, you can also choose a different location. So you can say, I just wanna print a left chest. It just gives you, it kind of gives you markers of where a good location would be. I usually just leave it on full front. It kind of just shows, you know, pretty generalized area where it is. Also a reminder, our full-time graphic designers, they, once they get this order, they process it, put the location where the standard is, like, you know, on printing, and then they'll send you a, an, an approval to make sure you like it before we go ahead and with production. Okay, so looking at this, I'm gonna go over here. We have a few options here. You can add art. We have a bunch of designs already on here. And you could, you know, okay, we're gonna be doing one for motorsports, cause that's cool. K-E-W-L, remember my password? I think it's cool 10, can't remember actually. <laughs> Hopefully I remember. And I don't know, I wanna do this sweet dirt bike or I wanna do this motor racing team. You can just select it, it'll auto populate on the garment and show you what you can do. And then within here, you can start messing with all of the text. This is gonna be fun and this is gonna be on the 18th. And you can start making adjustments so that you can you know, customize it to what you're doing with a design that's already been created. Or you can just delete it because I wanna do something different. You can also add text, which is good for some simple designs. If you wanna just create your own, you know, like a business quick logo for a construction company, you could say, I don't know, Supa Dupa Construction and flooring, <laughs> probably no one will do this, I don't know. If you make a company called this, let me know. That'd be interesting. And then you can change the, the font to something. We have some house fonts. Um, this one's auto selected to collegiate. Um, you can go down here and find some other ones. I like our house fonts because I'm a little bit privy to them. I don't know if privy is a word, is that a word? I don't know. I like them. So I'm gonna go with Chewer. Some of the designers are probably rolling in their graves. I actually don't like that now. Okay, I'm gonna go with um, Badger House Balls. 
and we're gonna do impact. That's classic, that's a good one. And then I'm gonna put it on the left chest and there it is right there or you can change it to be different, however you'd like to do it. You can also obviously use some of the other fonts and say I want a curly font and it'll auto populate that too. So you can make some simple ideas with that or use them for your own vector. Okay, so we're gonna upload my own file that I already had made, Badger sample design, super unique. I just saved a PNG on the, in this case. So I'm gonna open that up and it's gonna give me a couple options that pop up here. So you can choose, make your own decisions. And on here, you can remove the white background. You can keep the original, you can take out all the white. I'm going to choose to keep the original because I kind of like the, how it looks right now. And you're going to hit continue. Now, if you don't know with screen printing, how many colors you print can affect the price of the overall project you're working on. So in this case, I could change it to one color and make it a lot cheaper, but look, it automatically selects everything and makes it a one color. I can make it a three color. Okay, so I'm going to choose the six color option because that gives me my original format, kind of how it is. I'm gonna hit finish and that's gonna auto populate the garment with my design and I love it. I don't wanna stretch it or make it weird. I'm just gonna do it about that big and I want it directly in the center of my t-shirt. There's some lines that also give you some markings of where center would be and you can kind of visually put it where you want. Again, we send you a mock-up to make sure you, know, you love it. You can also use these tools over here to move it down in your boxes again. I like to eyeball mine. And yeah, I want it about there. I think it looks good. And from here, keep on going. I want a one, two extra large shirt, or I want, let's go with a thousand. And then you'd go down here, hit get price. And this is where it auto populate how much each one would cost. One shirt would be $10.80 for a six color print. Again, if this was a one color, your price be, might be more like $4, maybe $5. So it really just depends on how many colors you choose on your design or near, you know, the t-shirt or whatever product you're printing on. And then, you know, I don't know, it's up to you. Kind of deciding what your budget is or kind of what really matters to you can also help determine the price. So I love it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna name my design, you know, Badger Logo 23. I'm gonna add it to the cart. Saving the design goes onto your profile so you can access it later if you decide to order a different shirt or more of the same but fewer quantities. And then from here you can do more things. I'm gonna hit view cart and I'm gonna check out from here. So basically that's kind of what happens when creating a design on our website. It's super, super simple. Proceed to check out, go through the rest of your information and then you can get an optional delivery. So like we can ship it to you, you can pick it up local whatever you'd prefer. Sometimes we run promos, you can apply those discount codes here, um, and then you can pay and throw it in your cart, and then you'll be good. If you have any questions, contact us. You can click this contact button here, either send us an email or you can reach us at phones. Honestly, we're just stoked to work with you, and yeah, we love our website, and hopefully you'll have a good experience too.